Okay, so I've got some updates for some movies that are going to come out in 2012. First, we're going to talk about Clash of the Titans 2. So it's been 10 years since Perseus has defeated the Kraken and saved Argos from total destruction. Okay, the gods are weakened by humanity's lack of devotion. Again. Only this time, they are now in danger of losing control of the imprisoned Titans and their ferocious leader, Kronos who happens to be the father of Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon. There's another problem. Okay, Hades, along with Zeus's godly son, Ares, they make a deal with Kronos to capture Zeus. Uh-oh, Zeus needs help this time. Okay, so we're finally gonna see some Titans in the movie. We hadn't seen any yet. They're keeping it kind of secret what they're doing in the movie, so I don't know a whole lot. But, sounds like it's gonna be a great movie. Now, The Dark Knight Rises. We just got word that Liam Neeson is officially back for another Batman. Dark Knight Rises, to be exact. Neeson will return as Ra's al Ghul in the sequel while Josh Pence will play a younger version of the character. Wait, I thought he died. I won't kill you. I don't see how he could have survived that. But what did he say in the first movie? You're not Ra's al Ghul. I watched him die. But is Ra's al Ghul immortal? Are his methods supernatural? Or cheap parlor tricks to conceal your true identity, Ra's? I'm concerned, why are they even bringing him into this movie? The Dark Knight Rises also stars Christian Bale, Anne Hathaway, Tom Hardy, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Michael Caine. Alright, now, okay, now we've all seen this movie. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Okay, so it has been confirmed a sequel to Taken is being made. Here's some bad news. Liam Neeson may not appear in the sequel to Taken. Is it even worth it? They're gonna replace Liam Neeson? Who would they replace him with? Okay, so it might be good, it might not. I don't know. Well, hope you enjoyed the updates. Hope I didn't spoil anything for you. If I did, you shouldn't have watched it anyway. It's your fault, not mine. Bye-bye.